Good morning, everyone. I would like to welcome you here to Maple View this morning, and those online, special welcome to you as well, to this special Sunday where it's another baptism Sunday, so it's super exciting. Um, for call to worship today, I chose Matthew 11, 28 to 30. It says, come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and lean from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for all your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. And it's just a cur- an encouraging verse kind of in these times that's been tough. And it's always good to have, know that there's a God who loves us and cares for us. He's always with us. And it's a great reminder to know that we can go to him at any time and he will he'll meet us where we're at there. So let's pray. Dear God, thank you for this day. Thank you for this Sunday. Um, Thank you for always being for, uh, there for us and always loving us. And yeah, um, I pray for those getting baptized today. Continue to bless them. Thank you for their decision, God. I pray that they would continue to love you more and more every day. And I pray that be with the service and be with Brent as he brings us the message. Amen. So now we're going to have announcements. So if you have an announcement, there is two mics up here at the stage where you can come to. If you are on the phone, just press star six to unmute your phone. Or if you're on me, the Teams, you can raise your hand, the raise your hand function, and some people will let me know. Um, i ask to highlight a few. For next Sunday, October 11th, it's Maplevue's 161st celebration. We will be going back, it will be one service at 10.30 a.m as well as the following Monday, October 12th, is our Thanksgiving service at 10 a.m. The Youth and Young Adult Praise Team will be leading in worship, and Ross Gerber and Early Onsi will be sharing as well. And then Adult Sunday School will resume October 11th, 9.45 to 10.15 a.m. There will be a Youth and Young Adult class in the Maple Room, a class in the Sanctuary, and a class in the Gym. The Senior Superintendents will guide you when you arrive, and masks are required. It is with great joy that we publish the intention of Jillian Nafziger and Daniel Steckley to be married in the village of St. Jacob's on Friday, October 9th, 2020. God bless you richly as you prepare for your married life together. My, my second announcement is I'd like to call your attention um, to this, this note in the bulletin. Um, so our, our missions committee, uh, together with Mennonite Central Committee, is sponsoring a Chin refugee who's currently in Malaysia. So Latu is a relative of the Bona family, whom we sponsored six years ago. So he's been approved to come to Canada. And of course, everything's more complicated in this, this COVID season. So he's required to quarantine for 14 days when he arrives. So we are in need of an apartment, a trailer, or a basement unit in the Wellesley area, ideally, uh, with outdoor access to receive his food. So I believe that members of the Chin community in Kitchener will, will deliver food to him. They can't have contact with him, but can deliver food for him. Um, so this is urgent. We need to complete our quarantine plan um, because the Canadian government requires this. So we need that as soon as possible. Um, and I would say if you're not quite in the Wellesley area and you're, you have a place to offer, please still talk to Ken, Ken or Joyce Yancey because it, it still may be able to, to work out. So their phone number is in, in the, in the uh, bulletin. All right, if there's no other announcements, we'll head into offering. The offering today is for the Canadian Conference of Mennonite Brethren. And... If you do not already know, we have two lock boxes out, one by out by the library and one by the back entrance where you can give. And also, if you look in your bulletin, there is other ways to give in there as well. Um, So the Canadian Conference of Mennonite Brethren is also the the new conference.
conference that we're affiliated with. And if you have any, need any other information, there is an announcement in the bulletin regarding that. So I'll just pray for that. Dear God, thank you for the Canadian Conference of Mennonite Brethren and what they do and continue to bless them and bless this money that's given for them. In your name we pray, amen. So I will call up Edward and Christine Clausen for music ministry.